Hi, Fred from Bosch here. In this video, we're gonna take a look at clutch pulleys and alternators and what it takes to remove and install them. All Bosch Reman and Newman alternators that came originally equipped with clutch pulleys are supplied by Bosch with 100% new clutch pulleys already installed on the alternator. But there are going to be times, whether for service of the vehicle or due to cost, the installer or the vehicle owner may need to choose to remove and install just the clutch pulley instead of an entire alternator. In today's aftermarket, there are more than 70 million vehicles in North America and Canada that are equipped with a clutch pulley. Industry sources indicate that the total number of clutch pulley equipped vehicles will increase by as much as 25% a year as vehicle manufacturers work to meet government mandates for better fuel economy. Older style alternators had simple pulleys that were attached to the alternator with just a nut and washer. Clutch pulleys are actually threaded onto the rotor of the alternator and come in a number of different configurations with different methods of attaching the clutch pulley to the alternator. In order to remove or install a clutch pulley, there are specific tools that are required to be able to work on any car that may end up in a service bay for repair. Not only does Bosch offer top quality replacement starters and alternators, but Bosch also offers tools under the OTC brand. In the case of clutch pulleys, Bosch and OTC offer a toolkit, part number 6617, that includes all the required drivers and sockets that will enable you to work on thousands of domestic Asian and European applications. In some cases, the methods of attaching the clutch pulley are distinctly different, and in other cases, the differences are very slight, only a couple of millimeters in difference in size. Bosch, with the OTC brand of tools, makes sure you have the right tools available to do the job. Some clutch pulleys come with a hex opening in the front, and it takes a hex socket to be able to unscrew it. In the tool kit, it comes complete with a 17, a 19, and a 22 millimeter. The other more common design is this that takes a spline. It has a socket with the splines on the outside. You insert that. You put this 110 millimeter Torx head in there to lock the rotor while you put a wrench on here and unscrew it. Be sure to check out otctools.com for more special service tools and equipment. For more information on our remanufacturing process, check out the Fred Talks video where I discuss reman starters and alternators. Thanks for taking the time to learn about clutch pulleys and what Bosch can provide to help you get the job done. I'll see you next time on Fred Talks.